What's up everybody? Welcome to Fallout 4 Settlements. Today we'll be looking at the Hangman's Alley. Uh, I worked on this settlement for three months and oh fuck, it basically drove me crazy due to all the crashes, bugs, glitches, you name it. In any case, now it's done. So hopefully you'll enjoy, enjoy the end, end result. Uh, I'll explain the idea and the lore of the settlement and what I had in mind when creating it. But if you are not interested, I'll just put a timestamp in the description so you can skip the, the whole introduction. The idea behind the settlement is the following. So during one of their missions, a gunner commando named Jack and his team were they were pinned down in Boston by the raiders. And even though most of his team was killed, um, he managed to track the raiders track the raiders back to the hangman's alley. And under the cover of darkness, they slaughtered all of them. After the whole incident, uh, he Jack kind of realized that he was sick of the gunner's life, being ordered around all the time, and he recognized the strategic value of the alley, so he decided to start a settlement there. He and his uh, men started to fortify the place, and over time, attract more and more people. And as the settlement was under attack all the time, um, he came to the conclusion that the only way to truly be safe is to retake the whole Boston, and then, of course, the Commonwealth. So, one house at a time, one street at a time, one neighborhood at a time, and clear uh, clear them of all the ghouls, super mutants, raiders, all the maniacs. He started building the, the whole community basically around this idea, so all the residents that work uh, towards the common goal are taken care of. Um, I'll talk a bit more about it as I go through the settlement, just to keep this introduction short. As you can see, we are at the main, main gate here. It's uh, very well fortified. Here on the left, you can see the crane that takes um, some of the scrap and some of the salvage to basically to use it um, for building purposes inside the, the settlement. So the settlers open the gate for us. You can see some of the vehicles uh, Jack and his men are using to, to clear the Commonwealth. Uh, there are some light vehicles like these buggies and there's also heavy vehicles like this truck. Um, I wanted it to be armored and tough, but I didn't want to go for that uh, Mad Max uh, raidery kind of look because I didn't think that was appropriate. But I still think it looks it can do some mayhem with the minigun and uh, and the cannon on the top. And of course, uh, it's uh, designed from the inside to carry the soldiers to the next mission. And there's also a radio link with a command center. Here we have the power armor shack. Uh, they don't have a lot of power armor, so they try to repair and maintain the ones they do. Upgrade it if possible. So they're taking care of them. This is the second gate, of course, guarded. Uh, you might notice some uh, texture glitches here and there. I'll do my best to avoid them, but there are just so many objects in the settlement that the game just goes crazy sometimes. This is the garage where they maintain all the vehicles, prepare them for combat. As always, I try to pay attention to all the details or as many details as possible. Uh, this elevator is being used to take all the useful items, salvage whatever they find downstairs to the sorting area, but um, we will see that a bit later. For now, let's check the gate on the other side of the settlement. We are at the north gate now, and as you can see, it's also very well fortified. There are watchtowers also on the rooftops. Uh, there is a way to get to them through the settlement, but uh, soldiers also use this makeshift elevator just to change on uh, guard duty. Some of you may have seen this gate already in my previous video. Uh, it's basically the reason why I made the whole settlement, because once I managed to figure out how to do the gate, I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, now I have to make the whole settlement. Um, here we have a small uh, rest stop for the Brahmins, used by the Caron traders, and of course another guard post. Uh, the idea behind the door was that I didn't want to make just another 
junk fence gate. Uh, I thought settlers could come up with something better, something more fortified, something more secure, something let's say automatic. So what you will see is that once I approach the gate, uh, they will open and then there's a truck inside that will move out of the way. Once I pass through, the truck will return and the gate will close behind me. Let's see, truck moves out of the way. And now once we are through, truck should move back into its original place. There we go. Soldiers like to keep um, a lot of ammunition, a lot of weapons nearby in case there is an attack. And you will see this is the switch used by the soldiers to, to open the gate. We are now in a sort of, uh, let's say, market district. Uh, there are official uh, stores, pharmacy, hotel, but also a lot of settlers are just uh, selling uh, random junk, trinkets, whatever they can find. You will see later there is a big uh, greenhouse and a bunch of crops on the on the rooftop and all the surplus is being uh, sold here. And this is where the store, store owner lives. It's humble, but what can you do? Um, this part of the building was uh, damaged and there used to be a staircase here that leads to the first floor but for now uh, settlers are using this just to keep livestock we have brahmins uh, chickens and rabbits they use the brahmins for milk chickens for eggs and rabbits for meat because they reproduce uh, very fast but most of the meat uh, is brought in by hunters as you can see it's being processed here eggs and milk, rabbit meat. Here we have a specialized store. Uh, the automatrons built here are used by the soldiers on their missions, but also they're sold to the caravan traders as protection. This part of the settlement was kind of empty, so those who are a bit down on their luck uh, stay around here. And this home is just above the gun store, and this is where the owner lives. small diner farming is honest as honest as it gets huh i can patch you up if you need it for a small fee of course you can also try your luck playing uh, cups and balls if you want with this shady type and here we have the armor and the uh, gun shop Here we have just the cheapest, shittiest pieces, 
and here we have better pieces. There's also a small wardrobe. Oh, not wardrobe, changing room, sorry. And some helmets on display as well. And here behind the counter is where the best armor is being kept, of course. And the owner is currently working on a new piece of armor. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Should be closed. Huh? This is where the customers can try out their new weapons before they buy them. Um, before we move on, let's go back a bit uh, to check out the apartment building. Yes. So. Uh, Apartments inside the building and as you will see there's yes. more of those apartment buildings are the let's say the the prized housing opportunities since uh, some of them are very very well preserved and furnished uh, They are reserved usually for those uh, Who contribute the most to the settlement soldiers almost have an entire building for themselves and in the rest of the buildings are some of the store owners and and wealthy individuals uh, this is where the current traders can apply for a trade license to operate in the in the settlement or also you can discuss a, a living permit if you think you are someone who can contribute to the settlement and, and help the cause of cleaning up the Commonwealth. There's some information what's going on in the settlement. I mean, it's, it's it's not brand new, of course, but for the Commonwealth, it's more than decent. And this is the damage part of the building that I mentioned before. So as you can see, the staircase is destroyed. Here we have one of the larger apartments. The smells are probably not particularly nice, but <laughs> what can you do? Here we just have some more apartments. And this is a, a common bathroom used by all the residents. Up here we have a night bar called uh, the Sky Bar, but being a night bar, it's open in the evening, so it's closed now, and you have to have a reservation to get a table. And you get a nice view of the settlement. Oops.
here we have a small pharmacy and a hotel the hotel owner um, all the best furniture is saved for the apartments so these rooms are a bit shabbier but I think they're still fine Here we, just, we have just some more houses um, and actually before moving on let's check out the hole it's a strip joint and it got it's got its name because uh, it's located in uh, one of the apartment buildings and the entrance is an actual hole in the wall so that's how it's got its name let's switch to night time just for the atmosphere oh jesus christ there we go you have to pay the entrance fee and this is our bouncer in case some of the customers get out of line at the entrance i am fairly happy with how the whole place turned out i think it looks like a really sleazy shady strip joint we have a bar a vip area the main stage and another stage i tried probably for i don't know more than six hours i'm sure and and more than 20 crashes to to make them uh, dance on the stage but it, it, it's just impossible it's it's very hard to do it even during the day um i don't know is it a pathing issue or or whatever but then during the night they just go crazy they they teleport all, all over the place the game crashes and it just it's just impossible so it really pisses me off that they're not dancing but um, what can you do this is the backstage area uh, it's where the girls get ready they have access to to both stages and here they have a bunch of costumes they can use this is a newbie it's her first time so she's a bit uh, a bit nervous And this is where all the private dances go on. There was a staircase here as well, but it collapsed, so you cannot access the rest of the building. And this room is for private, private dances, if you know what I mean. Let's have one last look and let's switch back to daytime mm -hmm. oh yeah 
let's go here. We have a small grill bar here. some more houses um, this was a fire escape uh, exit that was uh, here initially uh, in the original settlement but then the settlers also built on top of that another set of stairs to be able to be able to reach the the rooftops we can check this out but oh actually I just remembered I completely forgot to to show you something else guys oh. let's go here down here in case the shit hits the fan and the settlers need to run because uh, the settlement has been uh, invaded or something there is a emergency hidden exit here I will show you right now This was a part of the old sewer system before the war and as you will see the pipe leads to one of the sewer's maintenance point. Uh, here we have some uh, basic equipment, just some lanterns, a little bit of weapons, some medicine and of course a radio. This is the old sewer maintenance point. And as you will see, it's a very short run to Diamond City from here. See? Okay, let's go back to the settlement. Okay, let's move on. We can be a bit faster. Now we have a small clinic. Yes. This is the clinic stash, and as you can see, it's safely locked behind the doors. We have some issues with the sign. The waiting room. Yes. And the examination area. Also, small surgeries can be performed here in a case of emergency. Um, this is another one of those apartment buildings that I've mentioned, uh, but it's a bit different. You will see. Let's check it out. On the ground floor, we have a diner where all the soldiers and all the residents eat for free. As you can see, lunch is being prepared right now. There's enough booze for everybody. And this is a big, big uh, makeshift freezer. So you will see later on the top of the building, there is a big water tower. Um, the same water tower supplies the water to the bathrooms and to the laundry room, laundry room. But here the water gets pumped into the cooler and then under pressure, these cooling mists um, gets into the freezer to keep everything nice, nice and fresh. And also since it wouldn't be very convenient to prepare such big amounts of food using just this stove, the settlers have an oven so here we have uh, electricity coming through and it's heating up the the copper wires on the yeah. bottom and on the top and we also have these fans uh, circling the the hot air so i think it's a 
fairly similar to how actual ovens work. Let's move on. On the next floor, we have the laundry room and the bathrooms for all the residents and the soldiers. So these are the pipes coming from the same water tower. I think someone is using the shower actually, one of the settlers. <clears throat> Let's move on. On the next floor, we have more apartments. Not a bad living. For the wasteland, I think it's fine. Um, on the next floor, it's actually a pub, but for obvious reasons, we cannot access it from here. We have to access it from, from the outside. Um, so, as one of the Jack goals was to bring the community together and make sure everyone does their part, basically anyone can uh, scavenge around Boston and bring in salvage here. So they'll get a meal and a room for night, one night for their efforts and all the junk is uh, being brought to the same sorting room I've mentioned at the, at the beginning of the tour. But uh, let's finish uh, with the outside buildings and then we'll go inside. Um, since hygiene is very important, there is also laundry for all the other settlers and there is also a common uh, bathroom and showers. Yeah. So this is the laundry room. Try to keep everything nice, clean, disease free. This is where anyone can buy uh, purified water. So there was a sewer pipe here coming from the one of the apartment buildings all the way to the sea. So instead of having a pipeline um, out in the open where it's very vulnerable, Settlers decided to use the existing sewer pipeline to push another pipe and then to pump out the water from the sea and purify it here. We have two purifiers working 24-7, but one of them is being maintained right now. I really like the, let's say, let's call it the atmosphere in, in this uh, room. Settlers, of course, use all kind of all kinds of cans and whatever they can find for the water. Here we have the public bathrooms and showers. And this is the police department. Of course, they're keeping order in the settlement but also this is where they sometimes jail surviving raiders for to keep them for questioning to gather some intel before the missions and this is where all the fun and excitement happens So this is where the soldiers get their, all of their intel, of course, by asking very, very nicely. Mm. 
let's move on one let's look at the police department bye bye um, let's go up here here is the main generator room but I'm sure you saw there's a bunch of just windmills solar panels all around just in case this uh, big guy dies on us but we try to maintain it as best as possible Um, so, as mentioned before, taking care of the community is the, the kind of the main focus of the settlement. So here we have a sort of a safe haven. It's of course named Sanctuary for those who are down on, on their luck. Maybe they didn't manage to, to to find anything in the Boston to exchange it for for a meal or for a room. Maybe they're sick. I mean, who knows? But here they can stay. Up here they can stay for free. But the thing is, they can do this only once every three nights. So they're still motivated to be to be useful to contribute to the settlement. The conditions are not the best, but I mean, it's free, so they have some spare clothes, some medicine, sleeping bags, pillows. It's always nice to help. Here we have the general store. All kinds of stuff. This is the pub I mentioned before. And here we just have uh, some more houses. Here the settlers can shoot some pool, maybe play some blackjack. There's also slots poker game in the back and since the stairway is basically inaccessible they're using it to store and to brew beer Okay, let's check out the junk box now. As you can see, people are bringing in all kinds of junk. And yeah, here 
some of those who work in Jack in the Box, they live here in the this capsule. And here everything is being sorted and then all the apartments, houses and stores uh, are, are being filled with all the, all the items from here and in that order. So first uh, everybody makes sure that the apartments are nice, that they have all the furniture, everything they need, houses as well and then all the stores. Yeah. And all the surplus is being traded with other settlements. And here we have the access to the garage. Here on the first floor is the command room. It's where they plan all the missions. And this is of course Jack. This is his stash in case of an emergency. His power armor. And this is where they go for the mission briefing. Um, here we have the weapons maintenance for the soldiers. Here you can see all the weapons that have been upgraded and, and repaired. They're ready for pickup. And here in this bin are still the weapons that need to be repaired. Here we have the medic or the hospital just for the soldiers. Yeah. Whoops. And here we have the library that's uh, open and free for everyone. I mean, knowledge is the main driver of, of innovation and, in, and progress. So it makes sense that anyone can come, read, learn. The only thing is uh, you cannot take anything out of the library. That's why we have our nice librarian keeping an eye on things. Let's move to the next floor. And this is where most of the soldiers live. Ah, oh, fuck, again, some glitches. Um, anyway, so they have a common kitchen area and a common living room area but the bedrooms are separate. They're nothing special, but not bad either. They also have a small bathroom and showers. They also have access to the, to the yard. Whoop. Fucking frame rate oops. And this is Jack's room. 
sorry. Here they have exit to the terrace and a lift to make it convenient for them to go to the roof. Sometimes their barbecue here, shoot some hoop. This is the crane we saw at the beginning of the video and all the salvage. The crane is being operated from, from here. Uh, then basically for all the missions, I think that the easiest and, and safest way to scout is to use the, the rooftops. So they use this bridge to, to scout before the, the missions. And it's also kind of easy to defend because if anyone tries to attack, they're kind of sitting ducks here on the bridge. And also they can just retract the wooden parts to, to prevent anyone to try to enter the settlement this way. And also if by any chance they, they scavenge anything during their scout, maybe weapons or whatever, they, they uh, put it there. So then it's pulled back into the, into the settlement. Here we have our main artillery. Um, it's used for, for defense, but also to support the guys during the missions. Some more watchtowers. And over there you'll see later it's a construction area, but we will come around. This guy is waiting for for help because he cannot pull in everything alone. See? Yes. Full. And then they use it the the boxes and everything to, to sort out the items and take them downstairs. This is a big military uh, warehouse. It's guarded 24-7, there's a lot of weapons inside. Not a watchtower, you have to take care of all the angles. And since food is very important, here we have a greenhouse and bunch of crops everywhere. The settlers try to use the space as best as they can. They have some irrigation going on. And the water comes from that water tower for the pipes. This guy is taking care of the inventory.
nice overview of the whole settlement. Ah, all the glitches, it's like Matrix. Be careful not to fall down. This is the water tower that I mentioned that supplies the the bathrooms and the freezer. This part of the settlement is still under construction. And again, I tried for hours to, to place settlers here, but they just wouldn't cooperate. They keep respawning at the, at the base of the settlement or, or in midair or doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And that's basically it. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. Hopefully, because I'm too tired to film again. Let me what, let me know what you think. Uh, ask if you have any questions. I always try to reply. And thanks guys for watching. As always, share, like, comment and see you next time.